Hey guys, that is my Glock 17. I usually carry that Glock 17 with me wherever I go. Uh, if I'm going out uh, shopping, if I'm going out to get a cup of coffee, uh, usually have that Glock 17 on me at all times. Uh, sometimes I'm concealed carrying, sometimes I'm open carrying. Um, I almost always have it on me and I have it on me as well when I go to church and you need to carry a gun if you go to church, if you go to synagogue, if you go to any type of religious uh, meeting, mass, what, what have you. Uh, it's come to that in this country where you cannot even go to church, you cannot even go to synagogue. Uh, you have to protect yourself because there's not going to be anybody else there that will protect you. You have to protect yourself. The police are always five minutes away and in five minutes there's too many casualties. There's too many people that can be wounded. You have to protect yourself. So I'm just doing this as a PSA for everybody out there. You have to protect yourself. You have to carry a weapon. You have to carry some type of device that will allow you to protect yourself from some kind of psychotic, uh, crazed madman who has ill will in their heart. Um, unfortunately, we live in a society where uh, now there's crazy people out there and uh, the law enforcement are always... Uh, they're too far away. They're, they're too, it takes them too long to get to you if there's something happening directly to you. So personally, I am, I'm shocked that uh, synagogues today, churches, what have you, do not have armed protection already, uh, security or any type of uh, security apparatus to protect their parishioners, their uh, churchgoers. I just find that absolutely amazing. After all the different uh, shootings we've had in this country at different churches, uh, the one in uh, South, Carolina, South Carolina, the ones in Texas, and now the one in Pittsburgh, um, it, it just it never ceases to amaze me. So, you know, for at least the last 10 years, I've been carrying at church. And I think you need to carry at church as well. If you go to church, if you go to any type of uh, large gathering, you have to have the ability to protect yourself. Now, uh, of course, state laws apply, so everybody watching this um, may not be able to carry in church, but every place that I've lived, I've been able to carry in church. And I simply just go up to the pastor and I say, look, do you allow uh, myself or others here to protect ourselves by carrying firearms in church. And if they say no, then just go to a different church. I mean, the churches I've gone to uh, have all allowed it. In fact, uh, one church that I was attending, uh, the pastor himself was actually carrying at all times along with a number of other church members. So um, protect yourself. Don't be a victim. And if you don't want to protect yourself, then at this point in our country, you're just going to have to avoid uh, places that have large groups of people that make it easy target for predators and sickos and psychos. Um, so at any rate, protect yourself, uh, carry a firearm where it's legal and lawful to do so, and uh, have your head on a swivel at all times because uh, there's crazies on both sides of the fence out there. And this isn't directed towards any one political group. Uh, you just got to protect yourself. So that was my uh, message that uh, you just can't go to church anymore without being able to protect yourself. So uh, take care and we'll talk to you at the next video.